हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सोनू यादव टूडेज लेक्चर इज ऑन सेल साइकिल नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कमिंग ऑन टू दी नीड और पर्पज द बेसिक नीड इज टू मेंटेन अ स्टडी स्टेट दैट इज टिश्यू होम्योस्टेसिस टू रिप्लेस डेड और डैमेज सेल इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन सेल पॉपुलेशन और ऑर्गेनिज्म डेवलपमेंट there is a process known as cell proliferation and the sequence of event that result in cell proliferation is called cell cycle it consists of following phases that is g1 phase s phase g2 phase m phase and g0 phase these are the various phases of cell cycle now coming on to the overview of cell cycle cell cycle it consists of various phases that is g1 known as gap 1 s phase known as synthesis phase g2 gap phase 2 and m is mitotic phase g1 in this there is a growth of cell in s phase there is dna synthesis in g2 phase growth and preparation for mitosis and mitotic phase it is characterized by mitosis and cytokinesis these are the phases of cell cycle and the g1 phase s phase and g2 they are together known as interphase and m that is mitotic phase it comprising of mitosis and cytokinesis there is one more phase that is g0 phase it is known as resting phase it may be temporary or permanent now the cell cycle is regulated by various activators and inhibitors activators which help in cell cycle progression the example are cyclin and cyclin dependent kinases that is cdks inhibitors which inhibit cell cycle progression the examples are checkpoints and cdkis that is cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors now coming on to activators that is cyclins and cdks that is cyclin dependent kinases more than 15 cyclins have been identified but cyclin d e a and b they are they play important role in cell cycle they appear sequentially during the cell cycle and they bind to one or more cdks that is cyclin dependent kinases they acquire kinase activity that is the ability to phosphorylate protein substrate which will further increase kinetic activity and help in cell cycle progression that is the cell will enter from one phase to another as the cdk complete its round of phosphorylation the associated cyclin is degraded and cdk activity abates consequently as cyclin level rise and fall the activity of associated cdk will likewise wax and wane now coming on to the inhibitors the purpose of inhibitors is to ch check the surveillance and ensure that cells with genetic imperfection do not complete replication if there is any defect in cdki this will allow damaged cell to replicate and result in mutated daughter cell at risk for malignant transformation the examples are 
there are two checkpoints G1S and G2M. CDKIs that is cyclin dependent kinase inhibitor P21, P27 and P57. These belong to CIP family. CDK's inhibitor protein and P15, 16 and 19 these three belong to INK inhibitor of kinase protein. These are the examples of inhibitors that is checkpoints and cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors. Now coming on to the cell cycle. As we have already discussed the cyclins and CDKs these are the activators, CDKIs and checkpoints. These are the inhibitors. Now, these are the complexes formed by cyclin and CDKs in various phases in order to progress the cell cycle. Now, how to memorize these complexes? So, you can memorize it by the cyclins that is DAB D A B and there is one more complex that you have to remember is E so first you write DAB and then E then how to memorize CDKs 4 6 2 2, 1, 1. So these are the complexes formed between cyclin and CDKs. Now, for G1 to S transition, it is regulated by three complexes formed between cyclins and CDKs that is cyclin D and CDK4, cyclin D and CDK6, cyclin E and CDK2. For S phase, it is regulated by two complexes that is cyclin A with CDK2 and 1. For G2 to M transition, it is regulated by one complex that is cyclin B and CDK1. So these are the complexes which help in regulation of cell cycle progression. For G1 to S, there are three complexes. In S phase, there are two complexes. And in G2 to M transition, there is one complex. As the complex is formed between cyclin and CDK, it lead to phosphorylation of protein. And this will, in case, in return, increase the kinase activity. and help in cell cycle progression. Now about the inhibitors. There are two checkpoints. One is G1S and the other is G2M. G1S is the checkpoint between G1 phase and S phase and G2M it is the checkpoint between G2 and M phase. G1S monitor integrity of DNA. G2M accuracy of genetic material. Now the various CDKIs there are two families CIP and INK as we have already discussed. P21, 27, 57 belong to CIP family and P15, 16 and 19 belong to INK family. Now, the complex between cyclin D 
and CDK4 and 6 inhibited by P15, 16, 18 and 19. Rest other complexes, all other complexes are inhibited by P21, P27 and P57. So, this is all about cell cycle.